Hey, do you constantly find yourself saying or thinking things like, No, I can't do this. This is going to be impossible. I will never get this right. They won't like me, or I'm not good looking enough. I'm Dr. Sean Christian, physician, author, entrepreneur, and founder of Confidence Iatry. On one of our videos, we had a viewer post a question about negative thoughts. You could see the question below. In this video, we're going to be answering this question and also talk about what negative thoughts are, why they occur, and how to overcome them. Before we get started, I want to let you know that we're constantly posting a lot of helpful and valuable information on this YouTube channel, so be sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified when new videos are released. What is a negative thought? The first thing to understand is that a negative thought is just like the fear defense mechanism we talked about in our How to Overcome Fear and Build Confidence video. The link to the video will be in the description below and in the top right section of this video. Your mind uses things like negative thoughts and fears as defense mechanisms to protect you from a real or perceived threat so you avoid the situation. Why do they occur? Let's approach this from an evolution perspective. During the caveman time, when they had to go hunting to feed their family, the mind adopted to the situation and warned the caveman of danger when he had to approach a saber-toothed tiger. If the mind didn't give them this warning, the caveman would have become the dinner rather than bringing dinner back for the family. Over the years, our mind continued to evolve. The mind functions in a way to keep you in a safe and comfortable environment without taking risks. While today we might not encounter many life-threatening situations like being eaten by a saber-toothed tiger, the mind has adopted to mount such reactions to situations such as public speaking, asking a good-looking person out on a date, or trying to get a job promotion. In extreme cases, people have these thoughts that can cause severe distress. This is referred to as phobias, which are irrational fears and negative thoughts to something that is unlikely to cause harm. They occur in situations when they have to step outside of their house, shake someone's hands, flying, etc. Severe phobias will require external intervention by a licensed healthcare specialist. Other reasons negative thoughts may occur is because of resentment and anger, which are usually directed towards someone else. When you have this type of resentment or anger, it is a poison that you are feeding yourself and you expect someone else to suffer. Unfortunately, life doesn't work like this. The person who takes the poison is the one who ends up suffering. Several research studies have shown that simply focusing on negative things for 10 minutes can increase your blood pressure, change hormones, and show negative elements in your blood when you do blood work. If only 10 minutes can have this profound change, then think about how significant of a change your body goes through with days, weeks, or even months of such poison. Three-step process to help you deal with most negative thoughts. Before you can first start to deal with negative thoughts, you first need to understand what is causing the negative thought. You can use this simple three-step process, which we also use to analyze our fears in our How to Overcome Fear and Build Confidence video. Number one, analyze the negative thought. What triggered this negative thought? What is the worst that could happen if I had this outcome? Would I carry on with my life if the worst case scenario happened? Number two, timing. The best time to act is immediately when the negative thought first occurred rather than later. Number three, act. Once you analyze the source of your negative thought, 
you can figure out a way to address the negative thought. By using this three-step process, it will help you understand your negative thoughts and allow you to take action. 9 Ways to Overcome Negative Thoughts Number 1. Talk Back Talking back to negative thoughts means you must first catch yourself when you are having a negative thought. Once you catch yourself, then you can imagine saying, Stop! Or shut up to yourself. Then you can talk back with a positive thought. This is more of a short-term fix. Number two, positive thought. Our mind is constantly adding and multiplying. Some people think you can remove a negative thought by replacing it with a positive thought. A simple experiment can be done for 10 seconds. For 10 seconds, do not think of an elephant. When you do this exercise, you will notice that your mind is full of elephants. When you approach it this way, whatever you're trying to remove is what your mind focuses on and it will become hard-coded. Our mind doesn't subtract or divide. Our mind can avoid negative thoughts for some time but eventually it will come back more powerful or in our dreams. That's why trying to replace a negative thought with a positive thought only works in certain conditions and is only a temporary fix. Number three, stay away from negative people. Negative people in your life are also toxic poison. It is best to avoid them. If it is not possible to avoid them, such as with family members or co-workers, limit the time you spend around them. Number four, negative thought journal. When you have a negative thought, Write it down in your journal. Be as specific as possible. For example, rather than saying, I can't speak in front of people, say, I can't speak in front of people because. Once you write down the negative thought, next, write all the outcomes that could occur if you were to take the action regardless of the negative thought. For example, what are all the things that would happen if I got up and gave a speech in front of this group of people? Maybe the entire audience stands up clapping their hands and cheering. Maybe you only get an applause. Maybe you get booed off stage. Next, for each of the outcome above, go back and ask two questions for each of the outcome. Number one, what is the worst that would happen if I had this outcome? Number two, would I be able to live on with my life if the worst happened? If you were honest with yourself answering the questions, there will only be a very rare occasion where you will find an outcome so bad where you can't live a normal life. Again, this is the same process we talked about in our How to Overcome Fear and Build Confidence video. Keeping a negative thought journal is a good way to track your progress and learn from your experiences. Number five, burn it visually. You may know Bruce Lee as a famous martial artist or a movie star, but did you know that Bruce Lee was also a comedian, philosopher, and master of personal development? This technique is a technique he used to destroy fears. The same technique can destroy negative thoughts. Visualize writing your negative thought on a piece of paper and setting fire to it. As the negative thought burns to ashes, visualize letting the negative thought go. Number six, gratitude journal. Reading and adding to a gratitude journal can change your attitude and make you see things from a unique perspective. It can force you to see beyond your pain and negative thoughts by broadening your perspective. If you can have negative thoughts, you have the same ability to have positive thoughts. You should include in your journal things such as people, places, and things. Number seven, mindfulness. Just sit back and try not to do anything else. Focus on your life process, such as your own heartbeat, breathing, or sensation of being alive. Slowly, you will realize there is a distinction between what is your normal life process and what you have gathered. This includes both your 
physiological and psychological possibility, situation, issue, or whatever you have made out of it. Number 8. Visualization Visualize all your negative thoughts being projected on a movie theater screen. Once you finish projecting all the negative thoughts, imagine you are using an eraser to erase all the negative thoughts. Number 9. Ignore other people's opinions. Most people do not know what is best for you and others may not have your best interest. It is best to ignore other people's opinions. There is a famous saying, there is no such thing as bad publicity. What this means is whether it is good or bad, the media aids in the person's cause. Likewise, other people's negativity is like bad publicity. And with practice and the right mindset, you can use their negativity to aid in your cause and be positive. Conclusion It is important to remember that most of the time, we are our own source of negative thoughts. Sure, negative thoughts may be a reaction to something that is happening around us, from our past experiences, or from something someone said to us. But the negative thoughts and their symptoms emerge from within you. Since you created this thought, you have the ability to take it away. The more you tackle these negative thoughts head on, the more your brain will realize that these negative thoughts are not real life threatening threats and they will slowly go away. The more negative thoughts you overcome, the more your confidence will increase. Now with your new change perception, make sure you continue to take action as you assure yourself that no matter what kind of thought you have, you are confident that you can deal with it and make it through it. Once again, we are always posting helpful content, so if you have not already done so, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified when new videos are released. If you comment below that you subscribed, I will respond to each and every one of you and welcome you to this channel. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter at Confidence Iatry.